Okay, so uh, I'll just uh, share my screen and okay. so uh, anybody who has uh, gone through the challenge document uh, can actually uh, raise your hand and you can share your understanding. Okay, go on, Kalkida. All right, everyone, good morning. So I've gone through the document, not in that much detail but uh, I've had a general overview. And uh, uh, from my understanding, uh, this week's challenge is to analyze uh, network providers' data uh, for so that uh, the, an investor who, uh, who has interest in buying this uh, company uh, wants to know in detail how how much users uh, does uh, the network provider uh, has uh, and uh, what is the customers or the users experience uh, through this provider so uh, the company is telco and uh, it's a mobile service provider and they have uh, their systems that automatically generate data uh, data is related to call and uh, uh, mobile data usage and uh, the what we are expected from this week's challenge is to provide a report that uh, that can help the buyer or the investor to decide whether to buy or not this uh, company so uh, we are, we, are, we will be analyzing this uh, telecommunication data set which is much more related to uh, the network field of network there are uh, there are there's sev several or uh, different uh, columns in this data set related to uh, uh, the mobile data usage by users uh, including time variables uh, links and uh, uh, mobile app mobile apps so it's a variety of data uh, i haven't had the time to go through each but i have seen it uh, from uh, from the excel shared uh, description of the fields and um, and uh, so we are also expected to be, uh, to have a web based dashboard uh, uh, in our report, uh, so a dashboard or a web-based dashboard is part of, should be part of our report too. So for this week, uh, the new another exciting thing is the data is not uh, handed or is not provided through a CSV file as in the previous weeks. Rather, uh, it is uh, shared through a post a Postgres SQL database. So we're supposed to extract the data from that database and uh, do the, pro the pre-processing and finally uh, achieve the objective given in uh, the global objectives. So uh, I will not go through in detail on the, each tasks of this week, but uh, uh, from a bird's eye view, we have four tasks or, or four analysis tasks related to all related to users. Uh, so the first one is an overview. We will see, uh, we will look at the data and we will do some exploratory data analysis on determining the handsets, that is the mobile brands uh, or, or the mobile brands used by the customers of this company, uh, who are the top users. Uh, we will ag aggregate uh, the data uh, from these data sets to determine the total do download and data volumes and several other, several other parameters. And uh, for the second part, we were supposed to do engagement so that the provider, the network provider can know or determine where to concentrate its network resources so that uh, it can provide a better service for its customers. Then there are experience and satisfaction analysis, which I, which I haven't gone through in detail. 
but uh, they are also related to the uh, users. So this, this is my general understanding from uh, this week's uh, task. And thank you. OK, great. Uh, anybody else? OK, uh, so I'll just uh, simply start. Uh, so as um, mentioned earlier by Alkida, uh, you, you are working uh, for a wealthy investor. So they want to purchase assets that are undervalued. So now we have you, you have to analyze the data and come up with a recommendation for your investor. So your report has to analyze opportunities for growth and make recommendation on whether telco would be worth buying or selling so yeah and that as mentioned earlier also the data is provided in an sql format so we will be using uh we'll be loading it into a database in postgresql database so you have to uh do that and now let's just go to the instruction part so now you will have to follow the same folder structure that has been recommended earlier in the earlier uh, challenge so you will have to uh, follow that too and the first task would be user overview analysis so now you you can you have to understand what the users are and how uh, how their data is distributed for for example uh let's say you you have to aggregate number of xdr sessions sessions duration and also download and upload data and also total data volume in bytes during the session for each application so each application is provided so for example it's provided with youtube netflix gaming and others so you have to uh, analyze the data volume in each applications and the next part is to conduct an eda on those data and communicate useful insights so you have to uh, do an eda for, in the user aspect also in in all of the features provided so you have to describe all the relevant variables and you have to analyze the basic metrics so mean median for numerical columns and you have to conduct non-graphical univariate analysis, which means the computing uh, dispersion parameters for each quantitative variable and provide useful interpretation. So for example, the maximum or the highest download is this or for this, this and that. But, and also for bivariate analysis, you have to explore the relationship between applications and the total download plus upload data. So for Netflix, the total download plus upload data is like this. So you will do a bivariate anal uh, analysis. And for the variable uh, transformation, you have to segment the users into top five decile classes based on the total duration of all sessions and compute the total data upload per their, per their class and you have to compute you have to do correlation analysis which is compute a correlation matrix for the following for the variables so for example social media google data email youtube data netflix gaming other data and as a, the the final one will be dimensionality reduction perform a principal comp a pca or perf principal component analysis to reduce the dimension of your data and provide useful interpretation of results so provide uh, just this is you, you'll report it uh, in your report and the next one is user engagement analysis so uh, for this one uh, you have to understand how the users are engaged so where the users are engaged so in the next so so for example let's say you you the investor concludes to buy telco and the next step is how to increase engagement so this analysis is one way of showing where to 
actually increase or improve your quality of service to leverage the whole platform uh, to get more users from the business, which means it, it will be beneficial for everybody. So the tasks are to aggregate the above metrics per customer, which means you, you are given with MSI SDN. Uh, okay, uh, so, um, and normalize easing each engagement metric. So just go through the tasks and use K-means clustering algorithm, uh, group users in K, uh, in K engagement clusters based on the engagement metrics. So for the experience analysis part, analytics part, you have to know where the, how the user experience is. So now you aggregate per customer using uh, average TCP transmission, average RTT, handset type, average throughput. And you compete and list 10 top and bottom most frequent most frequent TCP values in the data set, RTT throughput values in the data set, and you compute the report. So the next step is you uh, you will do satisfaction analysis. So in the satisfaction analysis part, uh, you have to uh, come up with, assign an engagement score to each user, consider an engagement as uh, a distance between users' data points. So for example, the less engaged cluster has some you will create a cluster having some parts for less engaged uh, having some parts for the the most engaged parts which means you have an engagement and also the experience score will tell you uh will the will tell you the distance between actually you will create a you will uh you will consider it the distance between the user's data point and the worst experience cluster so you have as admin as for as you as you have done it in the engagement part, you will do it in the exper experience part. So this will give you the overall satisfaction part. So you will just use k equals to just experiment, uh, experiment more with the data, and you will uh, understand while you are going through it. So yeah, and the next part is to aggregate the average satisfaction and experience score per cluster. And so for this cluster, you will have uh, a score. And you, you will export your final uh, table containing all user IDs plus engagement, experience, and satisfaction scores in your MySQL or Postgres database in your, uh, data, in your choosing database. So if you want to do it in MySQL, good. If you want to do it, we, will, <coughs> we suggest you use Postgres. Yeah. And you, you will develop model tracking and deploying the model to monitor uh, and monitor your model. So here you can use Docker and other ML ops tools. So your model tracking report includes code version, start and in time, source parameters, metrics, loss conversion, loss convergence, and artifacts or any outputs and any output files regarding a specific run. So CSV file and screenshots. <clears throat> so you. Uh, I hope it is clearer now, somehow clearer. And I think there is a question in the chat box. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Yaya, for addressing that. So uh, let's just, uh, okay, go on, Danny. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, was, I was trying to copy the data to my skill. I mean, uh, to Postgres. But uh, it has an error. Hello? Okay, well, what was the error? Uh, it have, on, on the third line, it has a format error, it says. Okay, how, how are you trying to load it? I was uh, trying to load it. First, I create the table. Okay. Then I used the Postgres GU and PG admin. Then I copy paste the query there, but it has a, an error. There is a format error. It cannot go uh, after third line. Okay, I'll go on. Yeah. Um, that, that's not how you 
the data because it's uh, a dump file. So okay. even you don't need to create a table. Uh, so there is um, a syntax for uh, downloading or dumping the, the data into Postgres. You will have a tutorial tomorrow. I will show you that. Uh, okay. It's not like a CSV data or any database, like it's dumped from another uh, Postgres database. Uh, I think it's on Ubuntu. So yeah, you, you will have a tutorial on that. Okay. Yeah. What about the Docker file? Do we need uh, to compose a Docker file? uh docker is for containerization right so um you we can set up a compose file for that uh, maybe i will i will include that in the tutorial how you can um containerize the the database with your programs yeah okay thank you Okay, thank you, Daniel, for the question. Uh, what is mandatory, Matthias? Okay, we suggest you use it. So we will learn through it. Yeah. So we want you actually to understand Docker more. So the more you understand Docker, the more you will understand how to how to deploy easily. So it, it, it might it might it might not be mandatory, but we suggest you use it. Okay, so uh, or any uh, any other question? Is it clear or not? Okay, so let's just move on to the tutorial section. So uh, you, there will be a tutorial tomorrow in data extraction cleaning, transform, transforming for formatting using modular Python you, given by Reddit, and working with Postgres DB using SQL Pandas and SQL Alchemy will be uh, held by yeah yeah and the, for the first day uh, there will be a data modeling uh, will be, which will be given by Kerod and. We will, we will have a dashboard development tutorial session, which will be uh, given by Yaya. And for the interim submissions, you just, uh, you you will submit a, a quick uh, slides. So for example, for task two and three, uh, just change this one for task one and task two. So for from task one and two, norm, we, you will use, no more than 15 slides and you will present your univariate, bivariate and other creative plots. Make sure there are uh, descriptive uh, text in alongside with the plots. So, which means it will be described easily. And yeah, the final submission would be summary of your findings from task one up to task four, task four which is Customer overview, user engagement experience, and satisfaction analysis. So ensure that you include a title slide at the beginning and the reference slide. So this will be a presentation too. So assume you have, uh, so make sure it's not more than 30 slides. So you will have to submit a presentation. And also don't forget, you will have to present it for us in next week too. And also your GitHub link. 
to all uh, to all your cards and screenshots of your dashboard make sure to include as many screenshots as possible and also uh, if you have you will you'll just try to deploy your dashboard in streamlit and make sure you include it in your github so we can actually get uh, get to understand what you have accomplished by the end of the week so any other question Okay, so uh, I hope it is clearer. If not, maybe uh, you can make sure to ask any question you have in Slack and it will be addressed uh, immediately. So yeah, uh, thank you guys. We can stop the recording here. Okay, bye.